Hi guys. Um, I just recently went to J Car and purchased this wonderful little white plate here, which is a thermoelectric cooler, uh, also known as a TEC or a Peltier cooler. Um, TECs use the Peltier effect to create a heat flux between the junction of two different types of materials. In this case, I think it's the P-type material and N-type material. Correct me if I'm wrong, because I'm not sure, this is very vague. Uh, basically, when, when the reaction inside the Peltier cooler happens, uh, it creates a heat pump, which sucks heat from one side, uh, delivering it to the other side. That's why I have a really big heat sink here, because the side that gets the heat pumped um, onto it gets really hot. And uh, I have also have some water here to dissipate the heat from that heat sink even more. So uh, at the moment, I've got it hooked up to a 12 volt battery, and it's you probably can't see that. It's registering 2 degrees Celsius, which is about 36 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, usually this would be below freezing temperature. Uh, uh, I not I don't know if you can see it, but there's even little crystals forming on the plate of the TEC. But uh, usually it'll be below freezing temperature, like below 31 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 degrees Celsius. But since I've got a really big pool of water, it's not really doing the trick. So um, I've got it hooked up to this 12 volt battery, and this is pulling 2.57, 2.55 amps. Um, I got it hooked up to the charger because this is only a 7 amp hour battery. I've had this running for about half an hour now. And, um, well, I'm getting two 150 watt TECs soon off eBay. So, um, and it, this is just to get you familiarized with TECs. And, uh, if you really, if you have any requests, uh, you know, trying to make a fridge out of it or something. I'd be glad to do it. I have no problem with doing it. So, anyway. Oh, yeah, I've also cleaned my room. It's gotten a little messy, but I did clean it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Until next time.